Once upon a Monday night, our first guest took home her first Emmy Award of many to come for her Rookie of the Year effort, Abbott Elementary. Season two premieres one week from tonight, right here on ABC. Please welcome Quinta Brunson. <laughs> I feel like I just saw you. I know. <laughs> Congratulations on your uh, Emmy. Thank I, you. I, um, I missed it. How did it go? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> um, I do want to explain this for those who may be confused by this. Mm -hmm. now, what um, happened is, um, well, I have a video, and I'll show what happened. Okay. Um, well, here, here's what happened. Jimmy, wake up, I won. <laughs> Jimmy? Okay, hold my phone. Um. Now, that was a dumb comedy bit that um, we thought it would be funny. I lost, and then I drank too much, and I had to be dragged out on the stage. Mm -hmm. And then people got upset. Mm -hmm. um, they said I st stole your moment, mm -hmm. and, um, and maybe I did, and I'm very sorry if I did do that. I'm sorry I did do that, actually. And also, the last thing I would ever want to do is upset you because I think so much of you, and um, and I, you know, I think you know that. I hope you know that. I do. Well, Jimmy, let me just say thank you. It is very kind of you to say that. I honestly was in such a moment of just having a good time. Like I won my first Emmy. I was up there, like right. you know, happy. Right. And um, I was wrapped up in the moment and just having a good time. I don't know. I didn't see any of that. I saw I saw you and I saw Will Arnett and my Emmy, and I was just like, oh, my God, I'm having so much fun. But thank you. That's kind. But honestly, I, I had a good night. Oh, yeah, I right, had a yeah. great night. Had a great night. <laughs> I had good. such a good night. It was a good night and a good time, and yeah. And I should also say, it was really Will Arnett's fault, the whole thing. <laughs> He drugged me and he dragged me out there. Yeah, and I was unconscious. Him. Yeah. Through, um, yeah. Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Is that his show? Uh, yes, yeah, that was Bojack his show. Horseman. Yes. Well, screw Bojack oh, and the horseman he rode show. in on. Yeah. Uh, well, good. And by the way, I was so happy to see you win that Emmy, and yes. or not see you win that Emmy. Either yeah. way, um, for you to win that Emmy, yeah. I've been a fan of the show you have. Uh, since before it came out. Even you I was have. fortunate to see a, a pilot of the show. Yes, you were the first people to talk to me about the show before the show was even out in the world. That yeah. was your first time at the Emmys and you won. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, because like I've been at the Emmys like 20 times and I've never, I mm -hmm. never ever won. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's an unusual. And I went one time and won. And you went one time and won, <laughs> which is like 100%. That's wild. <laughs> So you, um, did you meet anybody you never met or run um, sit with anybody exciting? Well, I met everyone at the parties leading up to, because there's a bunch of parties that lead up to Emmy night. And so there were people I met, I was really excited about, like Ben Stiller, huge fan of his work. He's the greatest. He's yeah. so good. His, 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 all of his stupid work though. I think other people not their favorites, but like Night at the Museum too, fire. Uh, uh -huh. Meet the Fockers, big, big, big fan of that more than Meet the Parents. So I was excited to meet him in <laughs> Severance, of course. Um, yeah. I met Britt uh, from Severance. She is wonderful in that show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And besides that, at the Emmys, I just saw people. Like, sitting right next to me was, um, uh, uh, the, I call, black people call them Law and Order. I don't know their names. But the, <laughs> the lady is Law, the man is Order. What? <laughs> Chris. Is that true? Law and order. I am saying black people. Chris. Maybe it's just me. Any black people can confirm. <laughs> OK, yeah. She said, I just call them law and order. But so I'm... is Christopher Maloney law and Mariska Hargitay order or vice Depends versa? Depends on the episode. It, oh, Sometimes I see. they switch up, you know? Who's ever laying the law down that, that episode and whoever's the order. But sitting next to them was like so, so cool. I was like, oh my god, law and order. <laughs> It was, it was fun. That is fun, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, well, that's part of the big fun of the Emmys, is yeah, meeting yeah. everybody. Yeah, and absolutely. Hanging out with everybody. Right. And then doing that thing where you go, do I know this person? Do, do, have I watched right. this person? Yeah, have I, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then you went on to parties afterwards, yes. I assume, yes. I went to the Disney party. Uh-huh, right. And I, um, I had a good time there. How long did you stay? 
Only till 12. I had to work the next day. Oh, boy, isn't that just a bad planning? I mean, yeah. why? It seems like if there's any day you should have off, it's the day after the Emmy. Yeah, I agree. But, um, you know, as an actress, I'm really upset at the producer of my show for making that the case. As the producer of my show, I feel like all the actors should fall in line and just do what they need to do so we can get the show shot. <laughs> you, um... Not only do you have the semi now, but also, uh, this is something I drive by a lot, and I see it on the Warner Brothers studio. You yeah. have a uh, huge... <laughs> I don't think that it, it, we can really tell from this photograph how big that yeah. photograph is, but yeah. it's big. If it helps, I'm really small and across the street. If that uh, helps you understand how big that is. It's know. bigger than the cars and the truck there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, did you get excited seeing that when you come into work? I mean, I do. It's still, that for me is a pinch me moment to be on the side of the Warner Brothers lot. It's something I, I hold in high regard. I love studio lots. I mean, I feel like all the people do here. I do. I love them. They're beautiful. It's where the magic happens. And when you get on them, it just makes you feel like you love your job again. And you know why you fell in love with movies and TV and Which stuff. Which one is your favorite? Which studio lot? My favorite studio lot is. Sorry, Warner Brothers. It's um, Universal Studios. Oh, Universal Studios. It's fire. Yeah. yeah. That's the one where, yeah, Jaws is. And, you know. Uh, yeah, right. It, the rides are great. The studio tour is fantastic. I love it. I remember taking that tour. Did you take that tour, like, before you were famous? I, <laughs> yeah, I used to take that tour a lot. I actually. A lot? I used to go to Universal Studios once a month, at minimum. Really? Because I live here, so I had the pass where you can, I you see. know. But. Um, yeah, I love that. I know that tour by heart to the point where if someone gets something wrong, like the tour guide, I have almost been kicked off for correcting them. Is that true? <laughs> I want everyone to have the best experience, <laughs> and I want them to have a good time. Do you think that's why you decided to play a teacher, because of that commitment to education? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe there's something there. Maybe, but one time this woman, she was a tour guide, mm -hmm. and Jaws is a big deal. Yes. And she left out the fact that the, you know, the shark gets sunk when they first put it in the water. I think that's a big fact that people should know. So I just kindly told the rest of my car <laughs> that she omitted that. And I didn't think she heard me. And um, then at the end of the tour, she said, hi, excuse me, yes, Quinta, I know who you are. Because at that time, I was viral and stuff. She's like, please don't do that. Um, oh, really? Yeah, and I was just like, OK, well, please say the right fact. <laughs> Yeah. Linda Brunson is here. When we come back, we'll show you a little bit of season two of Abbott Elementary. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just so happy to be back. <laughs> um, I did this. Part of my hair on a different side. But, oh yeah, you asked how my summer was. Um, well, I broke up with Tariq, as you know, which was, you know, breakups are hard for anyone. <laughs> I took it as an opportunity to grow. Not physically, of course, because I can't reach the top shelves in my apartment. Tariq used to get the plates. That is Linda Brunson in uh, Abbott Elementary. Season two appears, uh, premieres a week from tonight. Um, I'm glad you broke up with that guy. He was no good at all. <laughs> now, How do you play a teacher? Do you hear from teachers all the time wanting to give you inside knowledge? Yes, I hear stories nonstop. Um, teachers have the funniest lives. Yeah. Things happen to them all day that are horrible, that are gross, that are um, unprecedented. You know, if someone just came up here and just, you know, threw up on your rug, that'd be crazy, right? But for their job, it's just like another day at school. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I hear those stories all the time and, yeah. you know, take them as like loose inspirations. And, and but Really, we, we try to focus on what is going on with our teachers in our schools. Right. And I just take them more as, like, love from the teachers in the world. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's hard to write and produce and star in your own show. Yes, it, it is. Yes. I'll yeah. never do this again. You never again? <laughs> never again. Would you still star? So you won't do the all three of those things. Would you do, you know, well, I assume you'd do something. I really enjoy... Um, I enjoy all of the three, just not together. Right. I love to write. I love to... That's not true. Pr producing show running is... You know, I'm good at the creative parts. I have wonderful co-producers that help me. 
Um, writing, I love. Acting is fantastic. But, you know, I'm tired. If I didn't have <laughs> a hair and makeup and wardrobe team, I would just really look decrepit here right now. <laughs> I am so tired. You have no idea. Uh, let's give it up for my uh, wardrobe, my, my, my glam. I'm so tired. It's tired. So then when you, I know you're playing Oprah in this Weird Al I, bi faux biopic that's yes, coming yes, out, which yes. I heard is hilarious. It's so good. Oh, there's you and uh, Weird as yes. Oprah. So this is 80s era Oprah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you've heard it's good. I heard it's great. That, that's great. I haven't gotten to see it yet. And oh. So it premiered at TIFF this weekend, and I was excited because it got really, really good reviews. Yeah, it did, yeah. I loved it. It's a super silly movie that I, I read the script. I cannot wait to see it, but yeah, I played Oprah. That's me. Did you get Oprah's permission before playing her? I didn't because, you know, I played the parody satire roles. I just felt like I had a pass. Right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope. But you also don't want to get hit by a lightning bolt or anything you know? like that. You yeah. know? Now did I'm you, scared. I did just... you talk to Oprah at the Emmy? She was there. I didn't, and I was so sad about that because she um, she just, I don't know. She's as whimsical as she seems. She just came and went. She was yeah, gone. Yeah, she was suddenly gone. She was just suddenly gone. And not seen again. Yeah, she was yeah. probably back in, uh, in at her house by the time, every, the by time was you were over. getting your yes. award. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, it's great to see you. Congratulations great again. Great you. I'm sorry I was dumb. Uh, oh. I, and it's, I got news. It's going to happen again. <laughs> uh. Probably. <laughs> Richard Brunson, everybody. Watch your show, Abbott Elementary. See, we'll be back with Ishmael Cruz Cordoba.